So Glenn Dubin is a hedge fund manager, Kelsey Freeze, who knew Epstein. This young lady has accused him of being one of the participants in the nasty men. So, naturally, he says, no, it's not true. And then other people have been saying, like they had witnesses come forward saying, oh, no, I think it is true, man. Because I remember one time when I was here and this made me uncomfortable and this, and you know, so he's the, he's the latest. Glenn Dubin. Or Dubin. I'm going to call him Dubin. Now, he was... Um, He's been on the plane, the Lolita Express. How did nobody find that inappropriate? Explain. I don't find it inappropriate to get on a plane called Air Force One. A plane called the Lolita Express? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Jesus, Christian. Lord, have all the mercy. First card, Mr. Dubin. Five of Swords is dishonor. Little peek at your outcome. Moping. Boredom. Four of Cups. So, Five of Swords. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, Son of Swords. Got your little disappointment news there. Two of Pentacles. Now you are in sort of a tailspin and a lack of balance here. It's funny how life is catching up to all of them at the same time. You know, karma is one of them things you just really, you're not in control of it. And this is proof. It's like, you go along with your life. Now, mind you, I'm not saying you're guilty, but you go along with your life and all of a sudden, all your stuff start hitting the fan. What, how Linda G said, all the what you call it hits the fan at the same time. It's like, eh. Queen of Swords. Legal system. Laws. The Page of Pentacle. Oh, this is the Knight of Swords. So that's chaotic. Yeah, that's why you have the lack of balance. There's the page. Page of Pentacles. Um, now, you and him did have a business relationship because that's something to do with money. Four Pentacles. Now there's the page of swords. So you trying to hold on to information, something, yeah, it's come out. Now mind you, this information does not convict you. It basically paints you in a bad light in the public sphere, but that doesn't really probably matter to a person like you who can just go to a vacation home and hide. The Empress, however, is in your fear. Something new. Eight of Wands is what you hope for. To get away with something speedy. Eight of Pentacles. Money is in your environment. Temperance. Maybe a payoff or two. King of Cups in your warning. 
your solace is fighting, so this is not over. Two of Wands, preparation for bad offers. So, you might want to get you, or you probably already do, have you a good legal team in place. So, let's look at one other thing. Because that didn't tell me who was true. It just told me he's going to be in legal trouble. Is it true? That he had a relationship with an underage girl. King of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. This card always reminds me of Oprah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Every time I see it, it's like, oh, oh. <laughs> that's so stupid. The Five of Cups, there's your regret and disappointment. Six of Swords, transition through the stormy sea. And an offer of money. And then the devil. Well, if you don't take the cake, I don't know who does. Is it true? This told me yes. Not the devil, actually. There's a relationship, and then there was some sort of sadness behind it. Bad transitions, where we are now, and then maybe a payoff or offering of money of some sort. It's all centered around the devil. Um, the feeling I got, though, and was it him alone? I'll ask it then. I wasn't going to, but I will. Was it him alone for whatever reason? For whatever reason. I feel like it was him and his wife. I don't know why, but I get that feeling. Chariot pop out. So, was it both of them? Or just him? The Hermit. The chariot comes out again. Nine of Pentacles, wealthy woman. Ten of Pentacles, there's the money. There's a man here, and then another woman. So, it was Gisling. They do know Gisling. Because <clears throat> Gisling groomed this in particular girl. There is a wealthy woman in the picture. And the chariot card comes back up again. I think it was both of them. I'll go out on a limb and say that. It was both of them. That's sad. 